morning, everybody, and, and welcome back to the channel. I'm out today on uh, Edie's Mills line in Don Township. This is Don, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Don Township at the uh, farm of uh, Dennis and Doug Bellin. And uh, I come out here to do a quick little short, quick five-minute video on a barn. And this is a barn story that I think we've got to dedicate a whole video to. And and I guess you guys might as well tell the story of what you've got here. Right. Go Good morning, everybody. I'm Doug Bellon, and this is Dennis, Dennis, my brother. Um, I'd like to first of all thank Dennis for his interest. He uh, actually came in this morning, and uh, he uh, started his story out, and he called it, uh, what did you call this? A, uh, a barn rescue. Barn rescue, and I thought, you know, it was a very good term. So, um, I guess uh, a little background on it. We bought this farm uh, back uh, when we were 47 years old. Our our uh, sign at the road, our 911 is 4769, and we uh, we thought at that time, well, we're 47 years old, and we'll probably be 69 before we get it paid for. But uh, turned out it was uh, Don Zavitz's old farm. Great, uh, great man. He he uh, sold it to us, and it was probably a fairly good deal. So we, uh, of course, we've got a few racehorses and stuff over the years, and we always wanted to have a barn, and uh, we kind of, I guess, looked around, looked around, and we were cruising down the road on the way to the Dresden Raceway one day, and we, we go by Don Lapree's house, and Don's from just outside of Dresden. Uh, we seen this barn sitting back in the field, and I said to my brother Don, I says, now there's the kind of barn we should build, a hip roof barn, and... And uh, we looked over, over a little bit, and we decided we'd uh, go in and have a look, closer look. There were some people back in the field. Uh, we ended up uh, talking to them. They said, well, that's Don's barn, and he's liable to sell that to you. So we ended up, uh, we went back and looked, and, and if you can see at the top, which uh, Dennis will probably get a video of, there's the old-style vents on those uh, these barns. And we thought if we could just get those, that would be a starting point for even if we built one that we could we could use that so we went and talked to Don and long story short we ended up buying the, the barn and then came the process of how we're going to move this thing so uh, I guess we measured lines uh, you know we had pipe and we were measuring the hydro lines and trying to figure out how we're going to get this thing to and another long story short is uh, we our brother Tony um, came along and he said just be there Saturday morning we'll get this thing moved and so uh, he come along we we had the Heinex brothers and we tore all the steel off dropped the trust from the floor the inside floor was all tongue and groove and that's the part that we actually saved was the all the rafters up top in the flooring and uh, we dropped that down took the end walls off lifted them off put them on a wagon and uh, brought brought it here now I I was going to work one day on a Tuesday and I thought well, I'll swing by this barn and have a look and uh, as I'm coming down 21 highway there's brother Tony and he's got it on this big big flat bed and the things you shouldn't float. be doing that. <laughs> he's, he's floating along on the road <laughs> and I'm thinking there goes my barn on the way down <laughs> so we got it here in the week we ended up lifting everything back up reassembling it and then we went through and uh, you know we, we found windows for it out of London we found stalls that I bought doors for the brickwork we had some old stone here that we we done ourselves just uh, I guess it just turned out to you know as it was a passion thing and as it uh, come along it just everything seemed to fit together and I guess uh, you know with some thanks to brother Tony and uh, probably Brian Fitzgerald, Brian Fitzgerald and, hey, I, yeah, and his brother you know and we bought some wood off them and stuff so I guess that's uh, the story of it so but uh, we've had it here now for, geez, how long would it be? Would it be here four or five years? <laughs> it's, it's been quite a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Time flies when yes, you're having fun. Yes, it does. So, so well, that's uh, the long of it, uh, the long and short of it. So, You've really got it dressed up nice. It just almost looks like a house back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I was amazed when I drove in, actually. We've done our own brickwork. Put all our window stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. That is pretty nice brickwork. Yeah. Yeah. So who done that? Dennis and I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it done on jobs. You know, I thought how hard it can't be that hard. It turned out all right. Oh, well, yeah. And actually, the fence that we got, that PVC stuff, we got some out of the old Windsor Raceway when they tore it down. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's one of those things we. 
you didn't have a lot of money, but you know, you got to keep it cost effective and it just all, if you have a passion for something, it seems to work, right? That's those hey, vents yeah. the, the, and they were still in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're the crap down. Them. That's the worst thing. Well, you can't deal with that. Yeah. Even that roof's off. That's the Yeah. No, is that new steel on the roof? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're putting your half yeah. right? no. You never line up all them yeah. holes, and and if you're gonna go to the work of building it, you don't want the roof to leak. Yeah, when they had the steel where it come down at dawn, they had it bent off. Oh where, yeah. Where they, you can see how they just uh, docked her up the other way. Yeah, it looks good. So I've done a good job on it. Well, these fences look nice. Yeah. Well, that's really good. So, do you keep hay and straw up yep, top? Yeah, yeah. Yep. You can get up there. You can always take a little view of that. So, how's the horse business? Well, it's. Are you winning? We're winning a few. We well, good. <laughs> We just bought this one here, and she's actually won twice now for us. So, um, yeah, she's really doing good. And this is our old mare up here that she was second last week. So she's kind of coming around a little bit. So. You know, it's a pity. <sighs> 30 years ago in Dresden, the racehorse business was a, a, an economy all to its own. Mm -hmm. And like I said at the time when, when the racehorse business, it's cut back. It's now a fraction of what it was at one time. But there was all kinds of people employed. That's all they did was work at the races. Yeah. 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 And as a kid, too, you know, you'd remember going there on it was a, it was a fun night out when it uh, well, it does generate a lot of business. It, you know, it generates from vehicles to vets to, you know, the farming industry for hay and straw, um, shoeing, you know, a ton of, and jobs for kids and jobs for people, right? Uh, I know a girl that used to sell tickets at the Perry Mutual, and I, I ended up marrying her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is really, you. Yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. And it's all, I assume it's always this clean. Uh, well, we tried no. to. Yeah, we tried to. Yeah. <laughs> we knew you were coming. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, a little feed storage with the heater and stuff. And you've uh, retained a lot of the old lumber. It yeah. looks in the, yeah. I don't know whether you can see it, but the uh, tongue and groove in the mow looks like it's perfect. Yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 It's actually shinier upstairs. It, uh, it's fairly smooth, really. So, yeah. and these bags with pennies in them are supposed to keep the flies out. Whoops. So, so they say when when you go to the little it, brown jug in Ohio, which runs, yeah. it'll be this week coming up. There's a little. They got a bar in there, and the kids serve the food. So they they have breakfast. The kids will serve the food, and the parents cook it. And I think it's the uh, Buckeyes or some something along that one of the high schools school. right the high school thing. yeah so the kids do the serving and then uh but it's a cheap nice little cheap breakfast but it's it's cool like today but usually and they have all these these things hanging and that that, that works that's, well supposedly, supposedly i don't know well we'll have to try that in our donkey barn we have a donkey barn at home we'll have to try that yeah. i didn't know if you'd want to look upstairs did you want to oh, we'd take a shot yeah. up there yeah. So the rafters are really in nice shape. Yeah. yeah this is the floor here. See all the speed it is? Kind yep. Of and these doors on the end, I maybe should get a shot outside. They, When you open them, they slide down the, an angle. the angle of the roof. Yeah. Well, that, this is what I call the ultimate barn rescue. Yeah. Like who would take the time to move? Yeah. Move it and everything well thanks for uh taking the time to show it to me and uh, tell the story it's very very interesting and and if anybody's viewed this if you could uh give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and uh thanks for watching and thanks again for letting us come out and have a look and, and we'll catch you on the next video